You guys, if this leak is true, and we might actually see this stuff, to me, this is gonna be a fire drop. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. Dree Squad, what's going on? It is your boy Dreezy coming to you guys here with a brand new Supreme Leak video. If you guys are new here, please go down below and click that big red subscribe button. I'm only seven away from 950, which is my next milestone. My really big milestone is just right around the corner. I'm 57 away from 1,000. So again, thank you guys so much for the support. It does mean a lot. Also, guys, go down below and comment whether or not you guys think that if this stuff does release, whether or not it's going to be fire or trash. Because to me personally, I like this weird kind of vibe stuff that, that might be coming out. So again, let me know what you guys think about it. With all that stuff being said, you guys, let's just go ahead and hop into it. So for those of you who don't know, week 15 was canceled due to all the messed up <laughs> going on in the world as of right now. I talked about it in my last video, so I'm not going to go into detail with it in this video. But Supreme did end up canceling the week 15 drop, so I'm a little confused on whether or not they're going to go into week 16 or into week 15. So I'm titling this video week 16 just because I have a feeling it's just going to go straight into week 16. With that being said, we might see a pair of shoes come out in two different colorways, the Gucci colorway and then the in and outs styled colorway for the Nike Air Cross trainers or whatever they were called. I don't remember. Those were leaked images as well of a possibility of new shoes that we could see. So be on the lookout for those. But then week 15 was supposedly the drop of the Lay Bowery collab. If you guys don't know who Lay Bowery is, I'm not going to pretend like I know him whatsoever. I had to do a little bit of research on him, but he was an Australian performance artist, club promoter, and fashion designer. And one thing that really made him stand out above all the rest was his unique style of costumes, performance, makeup, all that other stuff. Me personally, this is the kind of weird that I love seeing from Supreme. It's something different. It's something unique. It's not something that you see every day from Supreme. You know what I'm saying? It's got uniqueness to it, if that's even a word. I'm not sure. Again, the pictures that have been released are just mock-ups, and personally, I could see them going a long ways with this drop if it does come out. There's a ton of cool images that they could incorporate onto these t-shirts, a bunch of cool designs, all that other stuff. We've got three mock-up pictures here to go over. The first one we've got here is a sweatshirt with a woman with a mask on. There's a lot of stuff going on in this photo. I don't really know how to describe it. I'm going to be honest. You know, you got the skull with the fire on the top, and somehow I feel like they're going to incorporate a Supreme box logo into the bottom corner, or a little script logo, something like that, that states that it is Supreme, or they'll probably have something on the back. With that being said, this isn't a piece I'm, I am as much interested in as I am a few other ones, but again, this piece is one of those pieces that, that's going to make Supreme stand out a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? The uniqueness, the weird vibes it gives off. Again, I don't know if you guys are going to like this drop or not. Me personally, like I said, I like this weird stuff. So that's the first sweatshirt. Here is the second sweatshirt. You've got the man doing the little hmm face. They're just such unique images that I never would have thought Supreme would have done something like this, but Supreme surprises us all the time, as we all know. Like if this t-shirt were to come out in yellow, it would kind of blend in with that face a little bit more. And I think if this if this does come out in yellow, I might try to go for it in yellow. I could see this actually being a fire piece. And I might cop this for my my personal collection if it does come out. But with that being said, here is the third item that we have to look at. It is a skateboard. Now, this skateboard does kind of give me the John Wayne Gacy vibes. If you don't know who that is, he was a serial killer and a sex offender. He was known as the killer clown. He would do weird stuff with kids and then end up killing them, and he did it while dressed up as a clown. I'm not going to go into too much detail over it just because of how horrible it is, but they've made movies over this guy. He's been on ghost adventures. He's been all over the place, this guy. So again, this is kind of giving me the John Wayne Gacy vibes with the clown face. I mean, you guys can see it up on the screen. If they throw this on a t-shirt, you already know I've got to cop that t-shirt. That is going to be a fire t-shirt, I think. Again, it's, it's, it'd be such a unique piece to have. So again, this is a piece that I could see myself personally going for. I don't know if I'd wear it, but I do need it for the personal collection. This is a fire piece. I don't know if I'm going to go for a skateboard or not if they do come out. But again, the skateboard and a t-shirt in this would be absolutely fire. Um, with that being said, tomorrow, hopefully we do have more drop updates. Um, again, these are just leaked images that have recently came out. I think, think they came out like Saturday or Sunday, something like that. I saw them on a post. These are the leaked images that we have so far of mock-ups. Honestly, let me know what you guys think about it because me personally, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I'm really digging it a lot. It's something different that you don't always see from Supreme. It's not the same old small box logos. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's just different. So with that being said, you guys, I think that this could be a potentially decent week for resale if these items do drop. I'm going to come out with a full drop list here in a couple days. And again, let me know what you guys think. That's all I want to know is let me know what you guys think because me personally, I am vibing with it. And yeah, with all that stuff being said, you guys, hopefully Supreme does do a drop. Here in a few weeks, I think I'm going to do a 
like a hype unboxing type thing because I've got stuff from FTP coming full send on um, Palace and Supreme that I will probably all open up for you guys and just kind of show you guys what I got. So with that stuff being said, you guys, if you are new here, go down below, click that big red subscribe button, help me get to 950 subs, drop a thumbs up and comment down below. And with all that stuff being said, you guys, it has been your boy Dries. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow with a drop list update and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Fuck me like a rock.